Now the cheerleaders of IU South Bend entertaining the crowd here at the Student Athletic Center of the SAC in a game televised on SBT2 and brought to you in part by Hoover Lumber, an out-of-the-way location with out-of-this-world service by Concord Mall, shop score win giving cash to area schools, and by Zolman Tire, voted favorite auto repair five years in a row. Zolman Tire. Well, we can see here that uh, the Tigers of Olivet Nazarene start a little pressure here. Dennis Park still on his feet as he's encouraging his Titans in a close ball game as we begin things here tonight. Yeah, Dennis has been around a little bit. He was a high school coach at Niles, and nice move to the basket by Brian Deshaun. Brian, part of that state championship team over at Jimtown. Now the three. Perfect. Nice job as Mitchell posts up, and, uh, squares up, I should say, the triple for the Fort Wayne native. Well, there are a number of Indiana kids on both the women's team and the men's team. Now the three, and it hit the front rim. Rebound cleared by Warner. Now Tyler Layton, a little stutter step there. Fakes and puts it up. Boy, I tell you. Able to you, draw the foul. Very good. When, when you're out man and, and you're probably five inches shorter than the other guy, that's that's the move to make, isn't it? Oh, it is. He drew that. That was just a, a, a smart move. Was able to draw it. You know, he's in there at 5'11", going against guys 6'7", six, 6'8". Six, we can see Dan Kunde from Bridgman going into the game. Brian Deshaun will take a seat. And the next free throw is good by Tyler Layton. Dennis Parks, the head coach of the Titans, talked about his keys to win tonight with Bob Berger before the game. Well, first of all, as I said, they're a lot taller than we are. We got to make the game fast. You know, we're going to run, we're going to push the ball, we're going to press, go 94 feet. And uh, we got to shoot the ball well. We have been inconsistent at times. So our hope is that uh, we can match up a little bit rebounding with this. And uh, we haven't run the flex offense very much. We're going to run it off a lot tonight because they don't switch. And we think that's going to be a key to us. So if we can get into that and uh, uh, we, we look forward to maybe a real good game tonight. I think it'll be a good one. Head coach Dennis Parks before tonight's game brought to you by Hoover Lumber and Cole. An out of the way location with out of this world service. There's Warner in the lane. No good. Rebound down to the Tigers. They've got the ball in the lead. A three-point margin, 13.55 in the first half. And Wallenfang comes up short. The putback is no good. Another attempt, and now the ball loose and a jump ball. Hey, you, you can't battle them up around the rim. That's the place to do it. They bring that ball down, and uh, then it's anybody's ball. Hey, I'll tell you, you know, Coach Parks is an outstanding coach. I started to say he was at Niles, also at Southwestern Michigan for a long time, and was an outstanding basketball player at Central Michigan. He was a point guard, set some records there and assist at Central Michigan, played with Roundfield, who played basketball in the pros for a number of years. And uh, you see, he's just, he was an outstanding player. Very good. Bob, I... Didn't even know half of that. Well, that's why we have you working so hard. Okay, but he uh, he used to recruit a number of my players when he was uh -huh. at Southwestern Michigan. A couple of my former players uh, played for him in junior college. Titans with the basketball, trying to tie this thing up. A three would do it. Inside, Wallenfang reaches in, and it belongs to Olivet. Man, we. Renawans, Dustin coming into the game, his first time in the ball game. Out of Kankakee, Illinois, which is the neighboring city of Bourbonnais, the home of Olivet, Nazarene University. It's also the Bears' home training grounds, isn't it, Craig? Mm-hmm. Yeah, Levy and the boys <laughs> spent a little time there during the summer. There's the, the long three by Hainland. Corey Hanlon with his first points out of Bloomington, Illinois. Now oh, a nice, strong inside move by Cundy. That was a very nice move. Just a nice little uh, baby hook, we call him. Now the other direction. Four-point lead by the Tigers of Olivet. 
They're running that flex offense that Coach Parks was telling about. A lot of screening, down screening, cross screening, and Tyler Layton. You know, every time you pick up the newspaper, you see where Tyler Layton has scored 34 points or so. He's just been red hot. Yeah, coaching staff mentioned it. He's just done an outstanding job for him. Wallenfang can't finish. And another <laughs> attempt, and a whistle stops the clock, a foul underneath the basket. Well, some offensive rebounds, and again, you can see uh, Olivet using that height advantage that they have. So a substitution as Comparado leaves the ball game for head coach Dennis Parks. And a timeout. 11.58 remains in the first half. And a game brought to you in part by our good friends at Zolman Tire, who will bring you the halftime report coming up in uh, just a few short moments. We'll take a break, though. Our telecast brought to you as well by Christiana Creek Country Club. Olivet on top, 14-12. Looking for the best way to energize your home's living spaces? Let Modern Kitchen open the door to easy remodeling. From planning to completion, we can make your project hassle-free with our own expert staff. You can count on Modern Kitchen's skill and craftsmanship. We've been your trusted source for superb cabinetry and design for over 60 years. Redesign, remodel, relax. It's the one-stop service you expect from a company you trust. Hoover Lumber and Coal, an out-of-the-way location with out-of-this-world service located in Four Acre, Indiana. Four Acre? Yes, Four Acre is where you'll find lumber, shingles, windows, and doors, as well as tools and hardware to get the job done right. Hoover Lumber and Coal in Four Acre. Four Acre? Has everything you need, and they'll deliver to your home or work site. Hoover Lumber and Coal, County Road 142 in Four Acre. Four Acre? Between Goshen and Napanee. Hoover Lumber and Coal. Down here with Monica Hoover, one of IUSB's cheerleaders. Monica, tell us a little bit about the facilities here. You guys have a huge team. You're able to fil facilitate those. Tell us a little bit about it. Um, here we have a weight room, an exercise room, an aerobics room. And within each one of those, we have instructors that are, teach us how to use them so that we can better use them and so that we ourselves as cheerleaders can use those and get better in shape. Well, it's a great facility here. IU South Bend has one of the finest I've seen in, in a lot of colleges, and you guys have it here. Great big team. You guys have a lot of uh, team unity. Yes, we do. We have a great big team, and we usually we like to do stuff together as a team because it helps. And so, But there's a lot of us, and we get along really good, and so it helps a lot. And this is just a club, and so we don't have to have tryouts, so we are able to get a different variety of girls, and it makes for a great time because you get to learn, meet a lot of different people that you wouldn't normally meet. Great. Well, Monica, thanks for being with us again. Monica Hoover of IU South Bend. Thanks. Back to you guys. All right. Very good. A three by Hanlon makes it a 17-12 Olivet lead. I tell you, you think Monica Hoover enjoys cheerleading? I think she enjoys it. Beautiful young lady. Oh, very well. Very well spoken. Mm-hmm. And that loose ball picked up by the Tigers of Olivet. Run wants having some problems. And now he gets it open into the front court. Now underneath Wallenfang, left-handed shot, no good. Tries a tip, no good. And out with it comes Kunde. I tell you, Wallenfang's missing some easy shots. Uh, you got to kind of put a stop to that because those are going to fall for him. And that three well off the mark. On the transition. And the easy two, well, wasn't that easy, but uh, certainly made nicely by Antonio Marshall, who will attempt a three-point play. Well, Cundy tried to take the charge, but got there just a little bit late. Good call.